Hey guys, let's get more news from Dallas Cowboys, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Dallas Cowboys and Philadelphia Eagles reportedly were rejected by Bill Belichick before choosing to keep current head coaches. A recent report claims that both the Dallas Cowboys and Philadelphia Eagles checked in with legendary head coach Bill Belichick about his interest in leading their teams, however, the six-time Super Bowl winner apparently rebuffed their advances. This month saw a slice of NFL history happen away from the field when the New England Patriots and Bill Belichick ended their unforgettable 24-year relationship. Soon after the team and coach parted ways, the speculation began on where the 71-year-old could take his talents next as he chases the NFL record for most wins by a head coach. From the start, it seemed like the Atlanta Falcons were the favorite to land his services. Furthermore, since he hit the open market he has only spoken with them, despite quite a few worthwhile jobs being open and the greatest resume in football coaching history. Well, it seems that there have been other organizations that have checked in with Belichick about his interest, and at least two of them allegedly were franchises that reached the playoffs this year. During a report about the possibility of Belichick becoming the next head coach of the Falcons, pro football talk reporter Mike Florio revealed as to the Cowboys and the Eagles, there's a belief in some league circles that both teams expressed interest in Belichick, that Belichick didn't reciprocate, and that those teams then decided to stick with their current coaches. Part of the reason Florio claimed that the iconic coach turned down the opportunity to take over jobs in two of the biggest markets in the sport, and instead prefers Atlanta, is the belief that Bill Belichick is done with big market media teams at this point in his career. Soon after the Dallas Cowboys lost to the Green Bay Packers in the wild card round of the playoff, owner and general manager Jerry Jones confirmed that Mike McCarthy would return as head coach in 2024. While the Philadelphia Eagles have made no comments about Nick Sirianni, all indications are he will be also staying on as head coach, and the organization will search for new offensive and defensive coordinators in the days ahead. XNFL HC urges Cowboys, QB Dak Prescott to ask for trade to Falcons. In the latest of offseason reactions, Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott is being urged to ask for a trade to the Atlanta Falcons. Prescott is coming off the best season of his career but he is being told to lead Dallas for ATL. On the January 24th edition of Get Up, former Indianapolis Colts head coach and ESPN analyst Jeff Saturday broke down why Prescott should try for a trade to the Falcons. Show host Mike Greenberg stated that no one has ever had the leverage that Dak Prescott has due to his contract, setting up Saturday for his Falcons suggestion. The Atlanta Falcons Go in there with the papers today, Saturday said you have plenty of talent. Hopefully, Bill Belichick is going to be the coach, or someone is going to be in there to turn it. They play good on defense, they have weapons on offense, and you're talking about a guy who's going to walk in and command that type of energy. Prescott's deal gives him the final say on all trades, and he also cannot be franchise tagged. Owner Jerry Jones and the Cowboys gave him a huge deal for a reason, but it could potentially haunt them. After only counting as a $27 million cap hit or less in the first three years of his current deal, Prescott will register as a $59.5 million hit in 2024. That's a gargantuan number, but one that feels unlikely to last. This is primarily because the Cowboys have expressed interest in extending Prescott. A new contract extension would allow them to spread that money out, which is fully guaranteed. If the Cowboys don't extend Prescott this offseason, it puts them in a tough spot. They're already projected to be $11 million over the cap as things stand. Not only will maneuvering the roster be difficult, Prescott can then test free agency the following offseason. The Cowboys have been nothing but positive when it comes to Dak this season. It helps that he rebounded from his worst season with arguably his best season yet. Whether or not that leads to an extension will be a major talking point of the offseason. Besides Saturday, there's been plenty of other names telling Prescott to ask for a trade. Of all the names, Prescott's brother, Tad, telling his brother to make a move might be the most interesting. As Heavy's Jonathan Adams covered on January 20, Tad Prescott is done with the drama. However, he also knows Prescott would prefer to stay in Dallas rather than leave. Cowboy fans, why continue to DM me trust me, 
if I could get at Dak to leave Dallas I would, Tad said on X, I too want him out of Dallas. The city and organization have been great to he and our family, but done with drama and the so-called fans, but he loves this team and wants to bring it rings. It ain't gonna work. Dion knows what's wrong with the Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys were booted prematurely once again in the playoffs, this time by the hands of the upstart Green Bay Packers in the wild card game. It's become a familiar storyline with Cowboys fans that's grown tiresome with many. On former player partly responsible for the previous postseason successes of the Cowboys appeared on RG3 and the Ones to offer his explanation of what's wrong with the Cowboys. Former Cowboys cornerback and forever Hall of Famer Deion Sanders defended head coach Mike McCarthy, who many fans wanted fired after the Packers' loss. But Sanders doesn't think the problem is all on the fourth-year coach of the Cowboys. Big-time players making big-time plays in big-time games, Sanders said on RG3 and the Ones, via on3. That's what I think the main issue is. Like, I've been on every side of this thing. So, I know you can dial it up but if they don't do their jobs, it ain't gonna work and you sit up there. Sanders continued that coaches are responsible for calling the plays, not executing them on the field. Who was supposed to do what on this play because all plays are designed to be successful, Sanders continued. We don't design a play to be unsuccessful, but they don't do their jobs, and that's just the nature of the game at any level. As a former player and current head coach of the Colorado Buffaloes football program, Sanders has been on both sides of the equation and seems qualified to comment. Especially while he's in possession of a Dallas Cowboys Super Bowl championship ring. And you fan, what do you think of the Dion No situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.